Welcome to video three. This is part three, and, and essentially this is the part of uh, the performer or the process that we want you to bring with you, just in case, uh, because it could very well be that the police try to stop you on some levels or try to turn you around, or, or, or even try to um, influence you in some way that uh, is not commensurate with you producing your criminal complaint or presenting it naturally. They've been given a diktat by the government to stop all of this as much as they can. But of course, you can't beat numbers and you certainly can't beat positive intention. Positivity breeds positivity. And so if you are stopped by the police at any point, I just want you, I'm going to run you through some stuff here that just lets you know what you can do. The first thing you've always got to do is be polite. I would say that if you are not polite, that gives them a real opportunity to do something. Um, and, and, you know, there's nothing that says that you can't. <laughs> you have to be polite. But I would say that, you know, you catch more bees with honey. And half of this is about the police understanding that they're not dealing with crackpots, uh, that they're actually dealing with everyday members of society, that they actually um, join the police force to protect and serve Video the situation or get someone to video it so that you have evidence of everything that you request. And the first thing you should do whenever someone stops you, if you wish to talk, if you wish to talk, because some people don't wish to talk. But remember, the moment you start to talk, they want to pull you into a situation where they can get you to stand under their authority. And of course, you don't have to say anything. And I'll walk you through some, some things at the moment. Video it so that you have evidence. The best way of, of, of connecting with someone at the level of uh, an interaction that serves you is to ask questions. The person who controls any conversation is the person asking questions. Hence, the police try to ask you questions. So what you simply do is you ask them questions. Are you standing under your oath is a great question. Are you, um, can I see your warrant card? Police by law have to carry the warrant card and there's a heavy penalty for them not carrying the warrant card. They have to prove who they say they are. <clears throat> We've seen police with no numbers that are visible. What is your police number? What is your name, please? Now, of course, if you video evidence this, the more evidence we can gather, if they break any of the, the rules of engagement, if they break the four E's, if they, if they break the, the conflict resolution model, which are two models that they have to use in order to engage with you, and, and wherever force is going to be used, they have to have a justification for escalating that. Now, I know that we've seen situations where they don't, but these are the things that we need to take evidence around so that when we present these cases going forwards, they'll be treated seriously. It's worth remembering that the, power, that the police have no powers to ask you to account for your movements. What I'll do now is I'll just share my screen so that you can see exactly what I'm looking at. But in reality... In reality, um, and I'll just explain to you that this is just literally underneath the performer, and, it, and it's it's headed advice to complainants on the 20th of March, useful to carry at all times. So print this off and, and, and carry it. So you don't have to remember these. You know, remember it's it's not a it's not a memory test. If you look at point number one, this is the one that we're talking about here. Police have no powers to ask you to account for your movements under the Coronavirus Act. And here you've got, the, you've got the article that pertains to that, Section 3.5, Article 9024, Parliamentary Library, February the 26th, 21. So this gives you the actual reference point to quote to them. And it says here, the police sometimes conduct a stop and account where they stop a member of public and ask them what they are doing. There is no police power to conduct a stop and account at coronavirus restrictions, stroke regulations, do not and never have provided one. So you can read these and these empower you to quote these if the police challenge you or they try to stop you. There is no legal obligation for any person to provide their name or address to the police. And, and it gives you the, 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 the quote here, the reference and the, and, the, and the case that was held at the Cardiff High Court uh, under, the, uh, under the judge, Mrs. Justice Stain, and the Lord Justice um, uh, Dingman's rules. So you can see here that there's a reference here for you. Now, of course, 
if, if the police suspect you of causing harm, injury, or loss to a person or damage to the property, or, or they suspect you of all of these or anything like this, then of course it is an offence to to fail to provide your name and address. So in, in reality, just don't do that. Uh, if you haven't caused harm to anyone or, or damage to any other property, there is no need to, to give them that. And it's your right, actually, to, to remain silent. They tell you that. The police must invest, uh, investigate any allegations of crime as stated. So everything that we're doing here, guys, remember it's for a purpose. When we present a paper form with a, a crime um, that we believe the government have created against us as individuals, as, as, as part of this community, then this is really quite important because... If we understand that, that they've got to investigate it, we know that by presenting it, they've got to do something about it. And of course, this gives you more information here about the Article 11, the European Convention of Human Rights, what this means to us, how it helps us. And it also gives you um, information on, on, uh, on whether or not you're in a car, when they might stop you, when they might not stop you. The officer can request to see your valid uh, license, insurance and MOT. Always carry your insurance, MOT and license unless you are suspected of an offence. Hand all three documents to the police. Now, bear in mind, you know, th th this is nothing new. These, but, but this just gives you some information that you can use. It reminds you of your inalienable rights. They can't take away your inalienable rights. They can't remove or diminish them. And remember that you are powerful. So if you are stopped, it's always useful to have numbers with you as well. It's always useful to have groups with you. Because equally, people can, can help you out and reinforce your message. And we always do this peacefully. And we always do it quoting the law that they are supposed to uphold. Now, you might find, as I found, that when you start to talk to some police, they don't actually, they're not really that well versed with the law. So, um, which sounds a bit ridiculous because that's the way they are supposed to be trained. Or they're just not telling you things because they know they're breaking the law. So if you are stopped, I'm going to say, take a look at this part of the website and print this off, take it with you so that you can quote to them. You can show them the act at which um, you're, you're holding your ground. Remember that if you are going to deliver a police, if you're going to deliver a, a complaint, a crime complaint, or a criminal complaint, they can't stop you anyway. They can't stop you. They're going to tell you that they can. So hold your ground. Just be gentle. Tell them where you're going and explain yourself uh, as best you can. Remember to ask questions and, and get there. And if, even if they do turn you away, if, even if you, if, if you decide that it's not in your interest to take it any further, post your complaint by hand by following the information that we provide on, on the website. So post your complaint. And also include in your complaint the fact that you were stopped from delivering a police complaint. So that's the advice that we're giving you. And, and, and that really sort of brings this series of three videos to a close. I'm really hoping that what you're going to do is that you're going to um, be there on the day. And if you're not on the there on the day, you get this out to as many people as you can get, out, get it out to, and you can get those people filling in complaints and sending them to, to police stations. Now, if you can focus on, on, on a certain police station, that's always useful, um, because the more disparate this is, then, then the more it's likely to be diluted. But if we can focus on maybe city uh, police stations, that, that would be very, very useful. So even though you might not be coming to London, nothing stops us from doing it in Manchester, Liverpool, Hull, um, Bradford, in, and in all of the other groups. So let's get it rolling, guys. Let's get this moving. Let's, let's start to make an impact. Let's start to hold the government accountable for things that are disproportionate and are actually damaging our society more than COVID ever would have done. If we consider the do not resuscitate, the force do not resuscitate, the impact that's had on numbers. If we now look at the fact that we're being squeezed into taking a vaccine that some of us don't want. I'm pro-choice. I'm not anti-vax. I'm pro-choice. But in reality, if we think about that, if we think about the, the, the people that are not receiving treatments at the moment, it's projected that over 200,000 people will die from non-cancer treatments in, over the forthcoming year. 
that's that's more than COVID has ever even touched in this country. If we then look at some of the other situations with like suicide, as we've said. So let's make a stand. Let's stop this now. Let's get back to our way of living as opposed to the idea that there's going to be a new normal. There won't be a new normal if we stop it. It's about what we do now to stop this momentum from going in the wrong direction. I look forward to seeing you in London, and, and I will shake your hand if, if possible. Um, so come along, supporters. Let's see you there, and let's make a difference. Remember, there's unity in community.